dance because my brothers go home to meet the master that he'd been working so hard for so long in some very strange places he never even thought about himself. When he hears testimony, he says, Shiva, so, Brianna, I went to you, my, this 70 year old guy, sorry. I say it again, I'm 57, I love to talk about my age. But these can't believe it. What God has done for this man of God for half, now he has to speak to you. And I am turning over to you. I ask you to forgive me. I just love you, Uncle Brother Stewart. And I get to say it publicly again for the third year. And pass it the first time we meet to him in this pure forum. Actually, but I, I knew him. He right. doesn't know me, but I knew him. Right, but the first time you get to hear him, man of God. Man of God. He's not my husband, he's just a brother. But he's a blood brother twice. What a prayer. Uncle Brother Stewart, the mighty stars. No, you gotta come from. from no, 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 come back home. You gotta come from. Oh, my God. Come here, though. You can't go up and down like that. Yeah. Oh, you speak up. Speak up and get feedback. So you can come here. Turn right away. Turn. So all you people are listening. Are you anyone? You can come here. But don't fly. Now listen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Praise God. It's a blessing and it's a miracle living in such an evil time that we can acknowledge that we are in our right senses. Mm -hmm. huh? I count it a blessing above all blessings. That there's nothing in our power to wake us up. If not for Almighty God, none of us can get up out of our beds. Yeah. And I, let me tell you something. God don't have to reveal everything to us. But if God had to reveal to us the amount of work he did to ensure that we get to this church, you will marvel. Yeah. If you know the amount of demons that try to stop every one of us Whoa. from coming here, yeah. Oh, yeah. huh? Yes. Demons was trying to stop us from getting here. Yes. True. And the Holy Ghost True. set up a standard mm -hmm. and tell the demons, every demon, thus far no further. Hallelujah. Thus far no further. Whoa. That we can make it. Yes. Thank you. Huh? But Jesus said he's like a royal lion. <laughs> And you know it's a royal land? Oh, yeah. No gonna rest in time. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 and he looks seeking. Who we can devour. The Holy Ghost yeah. says, that's far. Jesus. That's far. Thank you, Lord that's far. Jesus. Yeah. And charity the way for us. Yeah. We don't have to experience no miraculous deeds in our life to give God thanks. Yeah. Huh? We want to give God thanks. Hallelujah. Huh? That's right. So when you wake up on mornings and you are conscious that you are still in the land of the living, praise him. Oh, yes. I said, praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord to, Jesus. To give, uh, have a miraculous deed in my life that uh, I thank God that, ah, you know what, I was blind and now you can see. Yes, thank him for that. But you don't want to wait for that type of miracle to praise him. You can praise him all the time. Yeah. We bound to give God time. Yeah. Oh, Amen. Yeah. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah. I want for a brief moment. I want to turn your Bibles to the gospel according to St. John, chapter 9. Read in the very first four verses. St. John. Chapter 9, reading verse 1, 2, 3, and 4. It 
reads as follows. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? This man or his parents that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither has this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is there. The night cometh when no man can work. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is there. For the night cometh when no man can work. And God always promised to bless the reading of his word. When the unsaved man read God's word, he's in for a blessing. But when the child of God reads God's word, he is in for a manifold blessing. A high ranking blessing that is only issued out to children of God. So reading God's word is a lot. You are in for blessings when you read God's word. Jesus is speaking. Now I can just quote something that happened to Jesus. Now this is Jesus speaking here. He's over 30 years. He's 30 years and plus. But I'm going to show you something that happened to this same Jesus that saying, I must work the works. In the gospel according to St. Luke chapter 2. I can get back to this here now. But I just want to put line upon line. And precept upon precept. Luke chapter 2. Years. 
<laughs> and when he was when he said I must work the works, he's 30 years plus. At 12 years, he was in the temple <laughs> working the works of his father among the doctors and lawyers. Mm -hmm. But something happened. He had a mother. He was still a youth. Even though he was about his father's business, there's still another law that he has to be alright with. And it goes like this. Children, obey your parents in the Lord that your days may be long in the land. It is the first commandment with promise. Even though Jesus is about his father's business, he's still got to be obedient to the laws that God put there. Amen. You know what sometimes we say? Man, what Jesus tell me this? I go and we violating another law <laughs> that should help us. And the Bible says at 12 years, Jesus went down with his family and was subject unto them. Yes. You cannot be disobeying your parents and still want to be pleasing God. It don't work. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. Yes. That your days may be long in the land. Which the Lord thy God give of thee. But yet he was still about his father's business. So here, my father ordained me to do this. But my mother is the one who over me naturally and I will obey her and he went down with them and he was subject unto them and when he become 30 years that's when the earth the, the, the ministry is started in Jerusalem at 30 years Johnny Baptist came out at 30 years so that was the, the year that God permit for them to come out and he came out at 12 and had them in trouble. But he was about his father's business. He told them the truth. But yeah, I'm going down with you, mommy. And I'm going to be subject with you, mommy. Because there's a written document there telling me, children, obey your parents in the Lord. That your days may be long in the land. Huh? So I hear, we've got to be very careful. As much as you want to do things, God has put the natural mother and natural father and the natural over you to help you. You wake up in the morning and you all excited you want to come to church. And your mother said, Mary, listen to me. I tell you to do so and so and so and so and you refuse to do it. You are not going to church today. And you say, you can't stop me from the church. And you threw the door gone. <laughs> then you're going to get in trouble with God. <laughs> when she stopped you from coming to church, all you have to do, go ahead and live there praying today. You pray today, right? Right. When she stopped you from going to church, you stay at home. God is the spirit. You don't have to be in Jerusalem. No, you don't have to be in the mountains to talk to God. You stay at home and say, Jesus, this is what mommy do to me. Yes. Mommy stop me from going to church. Jesus, I ask you to talk to mommy. And God will hear your prayer and talk to your mother. Oh, yes. And let me tell you, she will, she will tremble yes. to take that again. Yes. But you don't bless stubborn. I said, I'm going to church. You can't stop me. I get to God's house. Don't work so. Obey your parents and go in the bedroom. And tell God what mommy doing to me. What daddy doing to me. And God is a spirit. Oh. And he will hear you. Oh, yes. You don't have to come up to the church. To talk to God. Talk to God in your bedroom. <laughs> and God will hear you. So Jesus is our example. Even though he, 
He was about his father's business, yet he went down with Joseph and Mary, and he was subject unto them. Huh? And he increased. You see that? Obedience to God's word, you must increase. He increased in wisdom and knowledge and stature. And he had favor with God and favor with man. Yes. And when he was 30 years, he came up now. Huh? And he said now, I must work the works of him that sent me when it is there. For the night cometh mm -hmm. when no man can work. Yes. And all start with obedience to God's word. When you obey God's word, you got to increase. Amen. You must increase when you obey God's word. At 12 years old, he obeyed God's word. He went down with subject to his mom. And his foster father, we know that his father was the Holy Ghost. But naturally, Joseph fathered him naturally, and Mary was mother naturally. And he went down with subject to them. And because he did that, he increase. We want to increase. We want to increase. And you've got to be obedient to God's word. And at 30 years, the same, the same, the same Jesus, he ain't 12 years the more he's 30 now, and he come out. And he saw a man hmm, blind. And the disciples want to know something, something about this here. Who were they saying? He was born blind. Who committed the sin? The mother? The father? Or the same way? Man? And Christ said, no, nah, none of them, none of them, none of them. Mm -mm. This situation, yes. God allowed this situation to take place. Yes. That the power yes. of God be made manifest. Oh, yes. Sometimes things happen in your life. In our life. Yes. Just and sometimes we want to blame people. <laughs> we want to blame this body. We want to blame this body. But sometimes things happen in our life that the power of God be made manifest in your life. Thank you, Jesus. But if we blame and blame and blame, the power of God is not going to be manifest mm -hmm. because we, we fail to see the vision. Oh, yeah. The Bible says where there is no vision, people the people perish. Jesus was 100% man. Mm -hmm. yes. 
He was 100% man. True. He think like us. Yeah. Eat, drink. He feel pains. He was being disappointed with his good friends and all of that. He was a man. Yeah. We know the Bible said it was God manifest in the flesh, but he was a man. That's why we can live like Christ. Because he was a man. If he was an angel, we can live like him. We can live like him if he was an angel. But he was a man. He was flesh and blood. He was hurted. He was rejected of men. He suffered. Yes, huh? right. He was tempted in every form of fashion that we are tempted in. Yes. But yet, without yes. sin, yes. that's the difference in this life. Yes. Huh? So what we got to do, make sure we put our sins under the blood of Jesus yes. and we can perform just like Jesus. Yes. Yes. But you can't perform like Jesus wrapped in sin. Because mm -hmm. the Bible said, despite all that Jesus was going through, yet, yes. without yes. sin. So the key to it, if you want to perform like Jesus, and you want to increase like Jesus, and you want the favor of God, and you want the favor of man, put the sins under the blood of Jesus. And you will be just like Jesus. You don't know that we're supposed to be like Christ. Let this mind which was in Jesus Christ be also in us. We are called to have the mind of Christ. And you've got to follow his footsteps. You see, I speak it now because I have, the, I have this knowledge. But when I was small coming up, I used to be vexed with my mother when she, everybody outside ran a book plane and she got me in the house. <laughs> oh, the boys going to the sea. And I can't the sea. The boys go across their plane, put it, sandy, plane, put it, and enjoy yourself out of the house. I used to be vexed. But no way you understand. I come to the knowledge now what my mother was doing. But at that time, huh? And the boys used to tell my mother, you got to hear like a girl child. <laughs> you got to hear like a girl child. Huh? Because my mother had five of us. But yet, she had favor me. Where I mean favor me? Beyond. I had to ask her one day. I said, oh, but Ma. Why is it that you pay more attention to me than all the rest? She said, <laughs> let me tell you, when you was about a year, two years, something hit you, some sickness hit you, wow. and you went back creeping like a little baby. Wow. And I had to re-nourish you again. Jesus. And I had to bring you back. Blessings. The daughters up to know, the daughters didn't know what caused you. Two years running both, and then back. By your knees crawling. Huh? As she said, from that time, she cherished me. Hallelujah. And when that, she keep cherishing me and cherishing me. And when it become big, a man, she said, was cherishing me. Hallelujah. So I had to ask her, why, uh, why me and not the rest? <laughs> and then she told me. I don't understand. I don't even understand that any mother would do that. Yes. You got a child two years or three years, and all of a sudden something hit the child, and the child going back crawling, um, acting like a little month's child. Wow. And she re she sat, she re-nourished me and brought me back up Thank and brought you me Jesus. back. Up. Huh? Amen. And then when they leave home, I went up my grandma's and live. And they may hear me for a couple of years. Huh? We went up break the house up right and they won't know what happened to me. My mother sent them up there to find out. I hear him when call up there. I went saying, St. Clair, by the house. The neighbor said, well, I see. I see for two days. And I feel lying there. I'm in the house. And I break up my thing. So they went back to my cargo news. I see a cup with tea that he didn't drink or he put something on the table and he gone. I was working up in Christ Church. And it was a job that I was trying to finish it. Because at that time I was self-employed, carpenter and a mason and everything, toilet and everything. And I was trying early. So I would get my bicycle, write it down, and the fire station in town, lock it there, the fireman said you can put it there, then catch the bus and go back for his church. So I was doing that early before my neighbors wake up. And my mother couldn't take that. And she sent somebody out. I then break the house of my thing. I said, when I come home and I heard that, I said, Lord, have mercy. Love. I said, 
I mean, she was so, my mom, now let me tell you. So I said all this, obedience mm -hmm. brings the favor of God in your life. Yeah. Obedience. Huh? Yeah. And let me tell you, my sister said, I have just put a little correction for her. <laughs> she is the last of 11 children. 11. And she's the last. And we used to rally around her. The last of 11 children. Praise God. And you know, when you, you know, when you, when you, you come to a big family, you know, everybody's rally around the last child. Yeah. Everybody rally around the last child. And God has blessed her. Praise God. And she have a heart for people. She have a heart for people. God, I was sick. Listen carefully. I was sick. Hmm. I, a Christian, living at my grandmother. My grandmother passed on. My mom was in, living in the house. And I went and buy Bibles. I was a Christian. I used to open a Bible for the dining table. Or open a Bible in the, the kitchen. In the living room of Bible. The Bible open, and I felt, you know, I still believe in Almighty God. I got His word all over. Look at those, something like a flu, a flu, a, a kind of sick. My joints, Caesar, a headache, fever, everything. Yeah. And let me tell you this: I rubbed them with some Benjis, take the coffee and lime. And I dream, and I, I feel bad every go saying, but I show you to the doctor, but I show your eyes, you can see it in your eyes. Because you know when you got that kind of sickness, your eyes is turning up, look whitey whitey. Yeah. I didn't let go, it's a father. Look at me, man. Look at me. I ask you to help me. Yes. I ask you to help me, father. Yes. And let me tell you, I am my bed laying down, and I hear the voice come to me, get up and go. And open your Bible. Well, I said, God, I tell myself, when I got the Bible open, you know when I got the Bible to shut? When I open the Bible, I open the Psalms, I think it was 17, verse 18, or 118, verse 17. But it reads like this I shall not die, Hallelujah. but live. Mm -hmm. And I shall declare the words, words of, of the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. And right there I start to praise God. And all the six and seven things I had gone. Yes. I got him right there reading yes. the word and believing the word. Yes. And I was delivered. Yes. And yes. next couple of months, I'm down in South America, mm -hmm. in the jungles oh <laughs> among the Amerindians, <laughs> declaring the word of God to them. Hallelujah. I'm not even too sure how I get contact. They get down there. And when they get down, when it was down there, let me tell you, all of them come to me. I go down there as Brother Stuart, and all these Amerindians calling me Pastor Stuart. I'm Pastor Stuart, this, I'm Pastor Stuart, this. Let me tell you. Jesus. And, I mean, I want to tell you down there, say, but Lord, you hear me when reading your word. Amen. Let me tell you the important thing. Whenever you read God's word, you know what's the seal to that? Believe in it. Yes. If you read it and you don't believe it, it's not going to do anything. Yes, power. But mm. when you read it and believe it, yes. I, just, I shall live and not die. And I shall declare the, the words of, of the Lord. Lord. I shall praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And all of them, joints and all of those things, let me tell you all the aches and pains and the bad things. And then leave me immediately. And I start to praise God and run up and down the house, praise it, God. And let yes. me tell you, within three months or so, I don't, I can't remember how I, how I get contact, but I just saw from working in the jungles. The Amerindians. <laughs> with the Amerindians. <laughs> are the Arawaks and the Caribs <laughs> and the white whites, all of the different Amerindian tribes. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, and these people, even a pastor that took me down there, he said, Brother Short, you bring blessings down here. All them bringing coconuts and pineapples from 
Call the God, the, the farmers. Mm -hmm. And I said, Brother Short, we, let me tell you, bring blessings. <laughs> bring me, bring me the dog every year in our store. <laughs> huh? But when you come up, I can yes. bring a pan that was a thing for me. Huh? <laughs> Brother Short, nice. I want him to tell me to live. This is more. It's a, and I bring three girls in summer, so you see those three women there? <laughs> they are single. Choose one. And they don't hear. It's a man, he comes for that. I come for that. And they wanted me to remain down there. Huh? I say, I come for that man. And let me tell you, and I start. They start, I mean, they respected me so much. Yes. You no man had a gun, that. and he told me, if we only know that it was coming down, uh -huh. I would go and catch a, a wild hog. We <laughs> got nothing to eat. I said, no, don't worry about that, don't worry about that. I mean, that was, that was nice. Yes. Especially when they appreciate you. Yes. And all that was telling me, I increase. Yes. Believe in God's word, I increase in favor with God. Yes. Hallelujah. And favor with man. God's word is real. Yes. If you believe it, it's going to manifest Thank itself you in your Jesus. life. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Look at Jesus. I'm passing all life after him. Yes. Because of obeying God's word. Mm -hmm. He increased favor with God and favor with man. It will happen to every one of us in here. If we believe God's word. I you yes, shall increase. Thank you, Lord. Fear yes. the God yes. and fear the man. Yes. Oh, yes. Let me tell you, went to another village, come back, went home. Another village, North Islands, because no Ghana have 365 islands. Ghana have an island for every day of the year. <laughs> I went in the area where they had enough little islands. Mm -hmm. And a fairly big island. They had a big church there. They told me the, the British missionaries many years ago built it for them. That's when the colonized the way there and they built a big church. And the pastor lived on the island, the church on the island, and another hut. And it was staying at the pastor on the island. And people coming from this little island via water. And at night, via canoes. You know what a canoe? All around the island, you got car park and barbers, enough car park, okay? They build canoes all around the little island and the church full. Church full. Let me tell you this. Pastor tell me, surely, how I was preaching, he said, so these, these people need But, tell me Wow. I said, well, all right. Let me tell you. It's a Sunday morning, we. Saturday morning, 